Everton's Lockdown with special guest Ian Bennett. Okay, I'm showing mine because this year finish zombie dust. So if they want to sponsor me, it's from Three Boys in Chicago. Please do it. <laughs> Please don't dust to sponsor me. Especially yeah, yeah, being quarantined sucks, you know, because I cannot talk to the guys. Like you, you know, we see each other every once in a while somehow. Yeah. Now we can't. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna do something, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna call Everton's lockdown, you know. What I mean? <laughs> It's been what, like 10 years, bro, since I got here, right? 10 years. You know what? I believe that your first ever game was against us. 100%. Yeah, like I was in Chicago. In Chicago. Yeah, and you were in Detroit, right? Ever go, your first ever goal was against, yeah, the, you, against the Detroit Initial and the Sears Center. Yeah, but we, you guys, I, I'm pretty sure you guys killed us too, though. Like, you guys, you guys were nasty. You guys were so good, bro. That team was good, man. Because I thought you and Ricardinho were twins. That's what I first saw. I thought you guys were twins, man. Like I was like, man, are they twins? Yeah, That's he twins. wins. <laughs> <laughs> I want to have him in here too, but people are not gonna. People already don't understand me, let alone talk to Ricky. You know? Yeah, yeah. Ricky's funny. Yeah, I can understand him when he gets like drunk when he's cut a couple beers in him. I can understand him that. Oh, that's for sure. That's for sure. Yeah. Man. So yeah. So no, like I said, no, like here is gonna be. We're going to be talking about, I, I don't want to talk about like all this thing that people have an interview with you, going to be asking them. Like, <laughs> you know, I, I'm not a reporter. You yeah, know? exactly. No. I'm just going to chill and talk, man. Like, I don't know, yeah. 10 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever the case may be, because at the end, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to post or not, but I'm going to record for myself and, and save it. You know? It's not like I'm doing anything, so it's not like I don't got time. You know what I mean? <laughs> How are you in the family, man? How are you holding up? Like a with this crazy stuff dude to, to, i'm gonna be honest with you like you know me like i'm hyper right like i i need to be doing stuff i need to be moving to be honest like this is a nightmare like it is like i gotta stay home i can't do anything i can't train i can't train kids obviously i can train on my own but i can't even go to the gym so like i don't have like the state-of-the-art gym at my house like i got some stuff i got a bike i got some bands i got some weights but it's still not the same because you're not in that atmosphere right yeah. So it's like I'm working out. My daughters will come and say, like, they want something. I'm like, man, if I was at the gym, you couldn't ask me this stuff. You know what I mean? So, like, it's taking that kind of – Father, I'm not here. Seriously. Dude, I know, they don't get it. I tell them I'm invisible. And they're like, no, you're right there. You're right there. But I'm like, no, pretend I'm invisible. And they don't understand that. So, like, that part is kind of like – because you never – you don't have any time. I don't have any space to myself. Like, I don't have two, three hours just to do my thing because, I mean, I get it. They're, I'm at home. They want to hang out. They want to do stuff. But it's like, man, I got to, like, self-care too, you know? But Are they, home, are they homeschooling right now? Like, what's going on? Like, are they just, like, a... What yeah, so it's kind of... Yeah, it's crazy. It's, it's virtual school. So, like, now I turn into, like... So I was a coach and a player. Now I turn into the math teacher, English teacher. Like, dude, I'm doing some of this stuff that, like, I'm using my fingers. And my daughter's like, yo, you can't do that. I'm stacking numbers and stuff. Like, old school stuff. Like, old school tricks. And it's not working, but, like, I mean, they got to do a certain way. But, nah, man, it, it's crazy, man. It's a crazy time. But, like, to be honest, you got to take it serious, right? So that's why I was, like, before, like, the first week it happened, I'm like, man, I'm going to still do my thing. But then once I started, like, seeing everything, like, it started to get serious and started to spread, I was like, man, I got to relax. And so, like, now I'm just quarantining, man, and, like, going crazy. I'm not going to lie. Oh, my sister is going nuts on me because she's like, you got to stay in Milwaukee, you know, like, don't go to yeah. Chicago. Erica, listen, man, I go in my car and I go in my house. I mean, it's like that. And then I have my kids, obviously, you know, I mean, you know, you're hyper. I'm hyper. Yeah. So Gabe and Bella are going absolutely nuts. I know. I've been, I've been making them work out. In the back. No, 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 weights and everything so they can sleep. <laughs> First day, like, I make like they do squat and the next day they, they woke up like, I'm sore. And That's I was like, good. really? And they like, yeah, but I kind of like it. I was like, good. We're doing it again today, like in the backyard. Right? Jeez. It's good, man. It's good. Nah, it's crazy, man. It's a crazy time. What is the crazy shit the guy's been doing, like, in a house that your wife is about to kill you? No, I'm over it. Like, I'm already at that point where, like, I, like, it's not good, man. It's crazy. Like, it's just too much, man. Like, it's too much, man. But, nah, man. We just got to find time to, like, kind of separate and do your thing you know like you gotta have like you gotta you gotta have that me time so um i mean i'll go in the basement do my thing play video games work out um 
have a couple of drinks, do whatever, you know, Skype. It, it's kind of crazy, though, that we waited so long for, like, all this stuff to happen. But then, like, you just kind of get in touch with, like, so I had a Skype and, and a Zoom meeting with, like, all my buddies on Saturday, like, my old college guys, you know. And it's like, would I have ever done this if I wasn't in quarantine? You know what I mean? So it's like sometimes you got to you, – you take this stuff for granted. But then I'm just like, man, I got to keep in touch with some of my old guys, you know, so – it's been crazy, man. Ever, I'm not gonna lie. I've never seen anything shut down like this in yeah. my life. You know, it's, it's 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 crazy, man. No, it's no, it's true though. I mean, sometimes we we don't. It's not about the little things, you know. Like we forget, like uh, you know, to hang out. Not to forget to hang out to the kids, but you, like you say, you take for granted. You know, like now, yeah. that's what you're doing. You hang out with people. We set up like a Zoom account as well. We've been talking every once in a while with people that we haven't seen. Like I told you, like I haven't video Jonathan Greenfield, seen Jonathan Greenfield since, I don't know, two, two years ago or something like that. Exactly, right? Video. Check this out. <laughs> I was home. You know, I like to cook. You know, I, I, yeah. I think I like to cook. Like the next one I'm going to do, we're going to go and we're going to cook together or something like that. So that'll be kind of yes. fun. Yes. Right. So... so I was cooking, you know, drinking my wine and, you know, and things like that. And all of a sudden, like, uh, my phone rang and was dancing. Wow. Dancing, like, a video in me. I was like, what the heck he's doing? He was <laughs> cool, man. And then he was bored and my kids were in the same room, like, uh, being crazy. So yeah. there's, yo, come here, Gabe, Gabe, come here, come here. Let me tell you a story. And he was telling a story for Gabe for about five to ten minutes, like a story. Yeah you know stories and yeah <laughs> I'm up and i was like oh my god why i didn't think about that before having danny danny babysitter for me why i can do so <laughs> <laughs> i should have done it never did Teddy, yeah, now, Teddy. so all right so let me ask you um so so obviously you know people you know about want to know about some shit you know yeah. again i'm not it's not, this is not a show, so it's not going to be for kids and things like that. You know me, I curse, <laughs> you know. Yeah. That's going to be like more for the adults of the league if they want to watch that or not. If they don't want to watch, I do, like I said, I'm there doing that for yeah. It's for us to, you know. And people sometimes get to know us like uh, in a way that, uh, yeah, I was just telling Kim today. You know, uh, reporters come to talk to us. We always give the same answer. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know, <laughs> they know us, you know. <laughs> So some questions that I'm going to ask you in here is more like a, to, to get to know the other part, you know, like, for example, like, a, you know, tell me some um, crazy stories of practice, like uh, the craziest things, like uh, ears, because playing together, when you used to play together, <laughs> it was insane, bro. Like, uh, so tell me some stories that you nah, have. So, so yeah. dude, so, like, we were talking, it was funny, kind of, it's funny that you said that, because, like, we actually had a good story, actually, this year, but... The, and it topped this one. So this has been my all-time favorite. And you were – I think you were there when Coach Tozer grabbed Luan. Remember when Luan came in? Okay, so Luan, hey, you know, rookie – was he a rookie? That, yeah, that was his first year, yeah. rookie. He was a beast. Like, you know, he was looking good, feeling good. Then, you know, you kind of like – when you're a rookie, you played a couple of games, you're feeling good. And, and at the time, Tozer was – I mean, he was still big. He was pretty big. Um, and remember when he comes to- he- and get his sleeves and <laughs> And I remember Luan was just mouthing off. It was funny. It was hilarious. And I, I don't think he knew that Tozer was going to go get him because he didn't know Tozer. I don't think like how we knew him. I remember he grabbed him and we <laughs> laughed. We keep laughing. It was field two. We always say field two. Things happen on field two. He grabbed him and he couldn't. And he put up his arms like he was scared. And I feel like, and Marshall's there laughing. I'm laughing. It was that was the best, but well, that year, that year, wasn't that year that I punched Luan as well in a game? Yes, yes. <laughs> I think I think oh, oh, two happened. Was it Luan in that year, dude? Yeah, Luan was feeling good. No, he was. It was his first time. I think in America, he's feeling good. But <laughs> Lu- Lu- Luan's doing good. But no, it was hilarious. But like, no, nah, man, it was honestly this year has been it's been a crazy year actually. Like honestly, it was our slow start. So we kind of like, I mean, again, you guys beat us too. It was a weird season. You guys haven't beat us in like, it was like 25 games or something. And like, hey, 26, 28, some, like some crazy thing. Like that. Yeah. And like, you guys beat us. We, it was just a weird, we lost like six games. I don't think we've ever lost six games in a while, but it was just a weird, it was a weird thing. And then for, for it to like cancel too, it was like, you know, it was kind of funny. It was like, man, what else could happen, right? 
Yeah, but you know how it is. You know, after winning a championship, some players, not all the all, all of them, like kind of relax a little. And you guys, you guys have like a, some uh, some injuries. You know, like a Josh Lemons, which is so important. Yeah. You know, and all this stuff. I mean, it's tough. You know, especially to start. I remember our first game. Our first game. Shit, man. I thought I thought we we're gonna win that game. I, I think it was one of the best games we ever played. The first one in St. Louis. We were winning 1-0 in the first half. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's right. We were like all over you guys, and I was like, yeah. Shit, we, we get it. And then second half starts, we got <laughs> you guys got a three power plays. Boom, boom, boom. And I was like, <laughs> Yeah, but you guys, it was weird though. You guys played us so good. And like, if you play other teams like that, it's so weird, man. Like, how, because you guys should have been up there then. Like, you guys would have made playoffs for sure if you played games like us, you know? And then you beat KC, you beat all those guys. It's, it's a weird, it was a weird year this year, man. So, I mean, maybe it's good that they yeah, called finished, it and we. I finished weird as well. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, it's like because like even if even if you made the playoffs or didn't, we didn't end up having it. So it was kind of a season that was kind of lost, you know. And it was kind of like, I don't know. It's like it's like hopefully next season gets better. I know I don't know. Like it was just weird. Yeah, no, I hope so. Man. I hope so. I, I you know, in my point of view and my team per se, I just need to get a little. Maybe two or three more experienced guys to know how to finish games, you know, because yeah, you know, yeah, we, we're almost there. So it, it's a it was a rebuilding type of thing, and now it's getting better. So it's good. Yo, but I'm gonna give you this insight though. I never knew Jules could kick a garbage can so hard in my life. This guy got so mad, but he kicked this thing, and I'm not gonna lie to you. Like I know Jules from time. You know Jules. I got scared. Like I'm, I just, I'm scared of Jules. I, I just like a picture of Jules on the guy that continued to go like. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Jules kicked this thing so hard. I've never seen anyone kick a garbage can this hard. Like, forever will go down in history. This thing had a huge debt in it. Man, kudos to Jules, but I, I was scared. I'm not going to lie. Well, dude, I never forget. Like, it was we were playing Detroit, and who was it? I think it was, I think it was California Cougars or – Either that, or it was back in the day, Bob Lilly was the coach. Oh, jeez, Bobby. Yeah. Oh, Bobby. no, New, uh, New, um, New Jersey Ironman. Oh, and okay. Bob Lilly was the coach. And we got in, a, in, the, in the locker room, and, he, and Jonathan Greenfield and him got at each other, and he got the water jog, and he liked it through. I mean, that was the greatest shit I ever Bob seen. did? Bob did it? Yeah. <laughs> no, that oh, joke. Yeah. Because they were going each yeah. other. And then in the same game, Ryan Mack, he said something to Ryan Mack, and Ryan Mack said something back to him. And Ryan came close to him. And you know how Bob gets like an uncomfortable with situation. Yeah. So Bob was like, hey, don't come in my face. And I think Ryan <laughs> did not expect. And he flew to the wall. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Bob Dude. called me a clown, man. Bob was intense, man. Bob called me a clown. He said I dance a lot. But I don't know. That was just me, man. Tozer was... Him and Bob, like, they were similar in things. I mean, Bob coached you on Aldo, right? Yeah, he did. But Bob, like, was different. He was the most intense coach I ever had. Because Bob me, me was... Too. Me too. Me you too. Know, far. I mean, he wasn't like a... It's not because... <laughs> it's not because like a, he was like, those are goals. Like, no, you got to do this and that. And he disciplined well everybody, okay? Yeah. He play the same way, blah, 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 blah. But Bobby, you don't do what he wants, you find. Yeah, he find. Yeah, I lost a lot of money. I never got so many fines in my life. I never say, I mean, every time I, you get one fine, I wouldn't say anything after that because I didn't want another fine. So I just be like, okay, sorry. And you know his rule, right? If he finds you, you can come and talk to him about it. Yeah. <laughs> he waives the fine. But yes. if he doesn't, it's double. Yes, exactly. I took that chance twice in my life only. Oh, wow. Did you yeah. win or no? I won twice. Both. Wow. So Every, maybe I should went to talk to him. Jeez. Yeah, but it was tough, man. It was yeah. tough. Okay, so what is the, the most like a messed up or funny memory you have in your head of games? No, um, no, no. Not like a fun, like we want, when we want. I mean, funny shit, like a messed up. Stuff. Yeah, I don't, I don't. I, 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 say that one. <laughs> which one? Which one? KC in the locker room. <laughs> oh my everyone keeps up. like <laughs> hey Tozer was in his underwear Tozer was in his underwear and he's probably gonna get mad at me for saying it, but it was his birthday shout out to Tozer but like no the like this is my problem though like you know how you have an argument but like maybe I should have waited till he got dressed 
<laughs> I think that was the problem. The whole the problem with the whole argument. I think if he was dressed and like it would have been it would have been fine. I'm it was just awkward. In my head. <laughs> so. He had tidy whities. He's gonna kill me. He's gonna get so mad. He's gonna call me. But he had tidy whities still. So. And you know people were so transitioning to like the boxer briefs. You know what I'm saying? But he still had the like. Wait. <laughs> he still had the white tidy whities. I mean, he was fine in them. He looked good in them. But it was just. It was just, and he had the socks high. It was just a weird, it was, it was just a weird battle. But like, I don't know, like we, and I took you and I took you outside the locker room. Yes, you did. And yeah. I was like, yeah, it's fine, man. Don't even argue. But in my head, I was like, in my head, I was laughing with the scene that you guys were arguing and he's half naked. Yeah, it was so funny. You were, and you were as well. And I was like, yeah, it was awkward because if we would have came close together, that's why I don't think we came close together because we were scared anything would touch and stuff. So I think that's why it was it was a weird. We were just talking from a from a distance, you know. That was fun. That was fun. No, that's like a, that's in my head of games. Probably is the one of the funny story I have like in my head. Like it's you and arguing. Both of you guys were half naked. And I was like, oh shit, man, that's not good enough. Because we're passionate, you know? We want to win. All we want to do is win, and I think it, that those things come out, you know? If you didn't care about winning or losing, I think none of that stuff would happen, you know? Because then you just be like, all right, but we lost, right? I'm so successful, man. Like, I mean, think about practice. You know, yeah. like, I mean, shit. Remember, like, at the time that Greg, Greg House and I, like, got into each other. You guys always got into it, man. Like, you guys... <laughs> and we won that year. But that's what I'm saying. We that's won. what we needed. Yeah, man. No, and... It, it, because everybody was so competitive, man. Yes. I remember Fabinho, like, if Fabinho was like, was Fabinho dancing? Well, Fabinho <laughs> is good. Like, that's the thing. Fabinho is the nicest guy when you meet this guy. On the field, you're like, man, I hope he's on my team. Because if this guy would go out and just kick you, bro. Oh, my gosh. It's unbelievable, man. It's unbelievable. Jeez. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, those guys were crazy, man. It was good times, though. Those, those I, were – I miss I, those times. I, I, me too. Me too. I, I really do, man. Because, you know, again, and – I remember, like, uh, you know, going to games, like away games. You know, we like to eat and then grab a beer. You know, as long as you knew that. Yeah. You know, as long as you could perform, as long as you could do your job and get it done, that's all that mattered. Because we were doing well. I mean, we, I mean, we were in the field at what, like a 14, 15 games, something like that. We went like a, oh, yeah. It was it was a good run, good run, man. It was good, man. It was good. No, okay. So, all right, so tell me stories, because I know you have a lot of those. When you <laughs> and Marco and JP used to, you guys lived together, right? Yeah, uh, so I had my own place. Marco and JP lived together. So, but we were like, he was on like, I think floor like six, and I was on like the second floor, so. Uh -huh. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> who was who was the worst one to get ready to go? Because I remember Marco saying one day, because we were about to go somewhere, to go out somewhere. Yeah. Not there, like, you guys were late, and I was like, what's going on? And I think, like, a Marco said, like, well, I had to wait to eat and do push-ups. Like, well, so, so I, was, I always wanted to do push-ups. Like, <laughs> like push-up to go out. I, think. I always do. Just, I always wanted to make my arms and my chest look good like, in, in my shirt, right? Like, so, because, like, it had to be tight a little bit. Like, if there was a little bit of space when I put on the shirt, yeah, that's not I good. knew I had to do some, some yeah. push-ups and stuff. But, like, I don't know. But those guys, hanging out with those guys, we, I mean, we always... Man, we always worked out, and we always pushed each other. But that's – I would – I take so long to get ready. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it was. I'd always have to try on, like, three or four different outfits, even if I knew what I was wearing. I just had to try on – You, to these days, you're still doing that. 100%. 100%. 100%. <laughs> yeah, but it depends, too, though. It depends, too. Like, am, am I going to wear a hat? Okay, then then that's a little bit easier because I can always throw a hat. I don't care if I have my hair cut or anything, and then I can throw on a shirt. <laughs> but if I can't wear a hat or I don't want to wear a hat, then, yeah, yeah that's going to take some more time, 100%. Hundred <laughs> percent, man. Hundred percent. What's up? Marco wasn't the worst. No, no, Marco wasn't the worst. JP was close. Um, JP with his hair too, man. Yeah, JP would have to. Yeah, he put a he lot had, of gel, a lot of product in his hair. Yeah, a lot. Of, he takes a long time, like a woman, like a you know hair. Yeah. I'm just surprised he never did makeup. No, I mean, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, he. But you know uh, what? He, we should we should do like a next time we should do like a you and I and JP on a call. Oh my gosh, I don't know, we might get in trouble for that one, but yeah, we might need to do that. <laughs> one. We might need to do that one. 
Jeez. All right, so I'm gonna ask some questions to you, and you can like a fun, like a just like a quick, you know, um. That, dang! How did that light come on like that? Is a clap on? No. Are you serious? No, actually, Kim, Kim came here and turned the lights on. <laughs> I'm too dark, man. Like, you know, I really thought it was clap on, man. I was like, dang. Oh, one, that's fun. I always wanted to buy one. Never did. I know, right? Me either. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome product, I think. I know. Clap on. You too, if you want to sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm going to just quick questions. You can answer or you can pass if you want. You can know. I play the fifth? Can I play the fifth? Huh? You can play the fifth. Yes. Yes. All right. So let's start. Let's start easy on you. Okay. Best roommate. Oh. Oh, but like on the road or like like for a living? Ever. Oh, it's it's gotta be it's gotta be it's gotta be Max. Max Ferdinand. All right. Max Ferdinand for sure. Best teammate. Oh. Dang, dang, it was a lot. Oh man. It would have honestly, if we would have played a little bit longer, it could have been you. Shit, right? Uh, uh, I would have to say honestly Max, man, because me and Max. him are we're, we're a duel. Horse roommate. <laughs> no, I don't care. I'll tell him. And he knows. He's going to get mad. I don't care because, like you said, this is off the cuff. This is real. Like, I say Tenzin. Not because not because he's a bad guy. Oh, around here? Not because he's a bad guy. Yeah, but he stored me into some crazy areas. Is that is that when you guys like live in Browns here, right? Dude, yes. Oh, dude. I remember you guys like live across the, the street from me. I remember. Yes. Yes. Or right. it's teammate. Oh, I'll be honest. I'll be honest with you. I'm gonna tell you straight up, Greg House. <laughs> hey, hey, I feel a player. I remember. Yeah, I remember. You remember exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, incredible player, but like we just didn't vibe like that. But like I got respect for him. Yeah, no, for sure, great player. But yeah, I gotta agree with you. All right, favorite player. No matter where, favorite player. Ooh, favorite player. Jeez, I'd have to say, I have to say, Marcio, man. Marcio. I'm a, I like Marshall. I like the way he does. Is he's got he's got game, man. He's he's a baller. Good man. He's good. His voice is irritating, but he's really good. Yeah. <laughs> good, but, you know. And his hair. Yo, can you tell him to cut a hair? He's been having that hairstyle since I've known. Like, man, he's got to change it up, man. He looks like Screechy. You remember, like. <laughs> <laughs> got to something about the hair, man. Shave the head. You know, like you know, like me. You know, like the, the or something. Head. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Favorite uh, favorite team. What year? Oh, favorite team? It'd have to be. Ooh, 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 ooh. It had to be at least uh, when we went back to back. So it was uh, not the first year was good, but when we went back to back, so it was with what was that? Uh, Eleven or twelve? Uh, twelve. Was it twelve, thirteen? Twelve, thirteen, right? Because yeah, it was yeah. my last year there. Because I feel like because I feel like the first one when we won, I mean we killed everybody. But then it was like, was that the second one was where we went to Baltimore and just defended like crazy, right? Oh, that's the oh, first year that we went to Baltimore, and we I, we did not touch the ball, man. We were defending. Yeah, that's yeah, when that Mar game was horrible. Marcy scored the goal with the ball, and his shoes went to the other oh, side. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> that that's funny. a good trick. Yeah, he was, man. I don't know if he trained that, but it was good. All right, yeah. favorite coach. Oh, favorite coach. I, I honestly, I'd have to say, I have to say, Giuliano, man. I, I like Giuliano, man. Tozer was great. He, I felt like Tozer got me the foundation. He he put he taught me the game, and then Jules just kind of put the cherry on the top for me. Ah, you're being political. All hey, right. people are gonna get, <laughs> hey, you're gonna get me shot, bro. Like you're gonna get like seriously, people are gonna find me, man. I don't know if I, I should be doing this. Give it to you. Worst coach. Oh, I'll, oh my gosh. No, I don't. Okay, but it's personal, like I'm right? About, like a worst on in terms of the worst, like a worst, like a hardest to work with. Like you didn't want to work with the guy. I mean, worst. <laughs> You can play the freaking time. No, like, no, I'm gonna be real, man. No, I thought I think Bob's a great guy, but me and Bob didn't we didn't mix, man. It was like oil and water a little bit. All right, all right. The the best moment of your career. Oh my gosh, I think I think uh, being the captain and and finally winning it, you know, putting your kind of stamp on it. Um, it was my job to kind of like take care of the team, you know, like off the field. Um, make sure they're warmed up, um, and just and just kind of be that leader. Like I step into that role, 
Um, and it was tough, you know, especially when Tenzin went down too, right? So it was kind of just by myself. Um, but no, that it had to, that had to be, man. Just just orchestrating, and then obviously, like when you win, they got it's a team event. But like obviously, when you win that trophy, they hand it to the captain first, right? So that that's always a good thing, you know, especially when you I mean, win it. So I got to touch it first. You gotta feel. You gotta feel good, man. Yeah, yeah. that was good. Okay, so a couple more questions. The man, least favorite, least favorite thing for Ian Bennett to do, like I mean. Don't ask me to do that shit because I'm not gonna do it, or I'm gonna pretend that I will, but I won't. Is it the fan uh, or is something else? <laughs> is, is it the what? What'd you say? Defending or is something else? <laughs> I, I, no, I changed my game. I just... in life, in life. Sorry. Thank no you. Cause, no, because I defend now. I defend now. Um, no, is I that, have to honestly. You have to like though. You know, no, I mean. No, I don't like it. But honestly, to be honest, I hate. I hate doing the dishes. Like, I, I really hate it. I do them, but I can't stand it. Oh, actually, too, I don't do laundry, too. I hate doing laundry. Like, I hate folding. I hate dishes folding. Therapy. I kind of like it. I, I hate folding. Wash. I actually do dishes because it's my therapy to cook and do dishes. You know? No, I hate doing it. I like, and, like, you have to, like, well, the rules are, too, right? You got you to gotta rinse them first and then put them in the dishwasher. Like, I can't. If I could just throw them in the dishwasher, I think I'd be good, but. Buy a better one. It's, it's, uh, it's in there. It's out there. <laughs> it's somewhere. <laughs> It's cool. You can have the thing and just yeah. uh, a hidden talent. Oh, a hidden talent. Oh gosh, what would be my hidden talent? Oh man, I'm not a. I'm not the best cook, so that's not it. I think, uh, man, what's my hidden talent? That's a good question. That is a. That, that's a really good question. I think. Uh, I think I'm a good drink. Like I think I'm a good bartender. Actually, I would have to say that's a hidden talent. Like I think I can. Mix it up. I'm pretty good at that. I'm pretty smooth. Yeah, good. yeah that I will cook you. You make the perfect. I'm in. You know. All right. Favorite number. Oh my <laughs> gosh. No. You know. You know what's funny though. And people. I don't know if people know this, but this is funny. Quick little story. So like, I I was always 21. College. Um, growing up, like academy, everything. Um, youth select everything. 21. Got to college. Boom. 21. Then Chicago. Uh, storm. 21. Um, everywhere. 21 and then i came to here to wisconsin giuliano had 21 obviously it's retired and uh it was funny i go to coach tozer i was like coach man you know me man i'll come over here but i need my number man i need 21 he's like well there's a guy named giuliano he's from canada too maybe you can ask him and he'll give it to you so i was like man you know me i'm uh, this is my gonna be my third year i'm feeling a little confident a little cocky you know i did good i googled giuliano's name and he's like national team, all these camps, everything. I was like, yeah, I go coach. I'm going to be coming, but I'm going to switch my number. So I just went to – it was kind of crazy. I just went to I, – I picked 26 because I don't know if you know, remember Edgar Davids? Yes. With the goggles, right? Yep. So I think his – when he first started with Juventus, he was 26, I believe. Um, and then obviously he changed his number. But then I just – I don't know. It stuck with me for some reason, I man. Met so, I met him. And um, remember I used to play the Tiger Street football in China? Yeah. He was ambassador yeah. of the Tiger Street football, and I was, um, and I was a, a franchise player of the Tiger Street football. So one wow. of the nations we met, and we actually like uh, after we won actually the tournament, yeah. and we went to the party after the tournament, and he was trying to change my flight ticket. So I could, we could we were hanging out, man. Crazy, yeah. like a greatest. Is, is he a good dude? Is he a good dude? I used to play with uh, with uh, you know his team sometimes just to play with him in a video game. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Was he a great, good guy? Great dude. I have his contacts. And to this day, he's like my phone. Like, it's awesome. I never talked to him. But I have <laughs> I spoke to him maybe two or three times because he was coming to Chicago. Okay. Trying to connect. But that was like, a, a what, three, seven years ago, something like that. Yeah. I remember him. And that, that's why you picked 26 then. Yeah, that's my guy, man. And it just stuck with me forever. I don't know. It, just was, it was crazy, man. That's awesome. I like that, dude. Yeah, it's crazy. Awesome. Ian. Seriously, man, we got to do that more more often. Uh, yeah, man. You should do that more often. Then we can invite people to be with us and just talk. Yeah, hey, I've never seen you with so much facial hair in my life. You're a guy that uh, normally, that like, shaves all the time. Facial hair. I look, seriously, I look awful. Yeah, but, yeah, me too. No, I said that too, but you never let your stuff go that far. Like, you never. I, shave, I used to shave every day. Yeah, exactly. You never. Uh, like, I'm struggling too, but there's nothing to do, so I don't need yeah, to. So you, what do you I need to do? You have beard. This? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, that's crazy. It's a actually. volleyball. It's a volleyball match. It's you know, <laughs> people in the side, people in the side, and that's it. You know, <laughs> <laughs> off, dude. Me to shave, and I said no. I'm shaving when they find a cure of a uh, Ex Exactly. Seriously, so what's there to do? I'll shave otherwise, you know, I'll be like that. Yeah, it is yeah, what it is. Thank, man. thank you for taking time for to talk to me. We no are worries. obviously, like I told you, um, I'm gonna post that, obviously, because I think it's a fun conversation. Oh my <laughs> you're gonna get hey, it's all right, man. People are gonna call me. I don't think not too many people know where I live, but it's it all would, good, man. It would be fun if anybody comes to you to talk. <laughs> <laughs> you like, your don't worry, you know. I love everybody, but it was be real, man. You gotta be real, Evel, right? You only live yeah, once, bro. Right? Yeah, but it's nice, you know. Like, like I said, you know, it, it's just fun to have a little bit of a conversation, and people actually know us, uh, you know, like, a, <laughs> have like a life outside of soccer. So yeah, like, no, like it the, is the soccer part of here, and like working with the wave, working with kids, which, which is great. Yeah, you know, like, I mean, yeah. and but. Sometimes it's nice to show the other parts as well, you know, like definitely. Yeah, we are emotional. yeah, definitely, exactly, because they always think like they think I'm always happy, and like sometimes I get sad and you know I get mad too. Like they always think you're always happy, which is good, but I'm always positive, man. But I have those you're days, happy, you know? and I'm always happy. But sometimes we we both yeah. with each other as well, which is kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, like it happens, man. It happens, man. It happens, man. Yeah, thank you so much, man. Like, uh, like I, like I told you, you're gonna have, I gonna, I have a list of guys. Let's that go. I'm gonna be doing this, but some of the guys, I probably wanna do with you along in a conversation. Let's go. Uh, we need to. Like Jonathan Greenfield. Uh, Yo, I Nick, gotta talk to Green. Nick, <laughs> I got... Nick Pereira. Oh my gosh. You know, like some guys in here that I have that are gonna be talk max. You know. <laughs> yeah. in vega that'll be funny too yeah so we have some guys to 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 call and it'll be fun you know like it, it will kill we'll kill time on this quarantine for sure you yeah because we're here for another what three weeks they said i think april 30th right but it's probably uh, a little longer right exactly so i'm gonna be doing this probably ever every other day or something like yeah, that man. let's so, do it i'm in man I'm in. So, you know, we gotta go out once this quarantine thing is we gotta go get a drink or something man that's good no yeah for sure man like i said i'm serious about it let's uh i will cook and make drinks yes we gotta film okay. that yeah 100 we all good all right yeah say hi to the family for me say hi yeah, to you the too girls. uh stay healthy stay home as much as you can don't, yeah. go, <laughs> don't go crazy you know and i'll try and do the same i don't know how much i can so we'll yeah. see all right, bro. Talk All right, man. Good talking to you. You too, bro. Have a good night. Love you, bro. Cool. I love you too, man. Bye.